What's poppin'? YouTube, we live. Since goddamn YouTube didn't want me to post my little video, we just gonna get live and talk about the shit. Now, the topic of the week has been blackface, baby. Yeah, I. Right. So cool. This I got a whole new approach on the blackface shit that's going on. We know about the senator, goof ass. All of a sudden, he ain't even got no yearbook. He don't know what a yearbook is. So, okay, cool. You're goof ass. Fuck you. We know how you feel about the shit. But the designer pants, Gucci Prada and Montclair. Now, when I seen Gucci yesterday with that goof ass um, turtleneck sweater come all the way up to your goddamn nose with big ass Sambo red lips on them, pissed me off. I was like, damn, Gucci know better than that. You know what I'm saying? They wrong as hell. That's, that's, that's fucked up. That's some old Jim Crow. You feel me? Bullshit. So. Today, I heard about the Montclair and Prada. I seen the Prada bags, but today I see the motherfucking uh, the Montclair shirt and coat and shit, bro. And it didn't even first thing it didn't piss me off. I was just like, oh, all you motherfuckers is racist, racist. All you motherfuckers is reaching, reaching for the racism. Okay, cool. That didn't even piss me off because now it's like y'all trying. To piss niggas off this is that's a trigger y'all pulled the trigger big like nigga big ass trigger bro put the motherfucking the whole gym nigga the sambo face is on the shirt and got it all on the motherfucking jacket and shit so i'm like yo what the fuck so to me it's like y'all don't want niggas to what to wear y'all shit at all and y'all gone and fuck saying it. We just gonna humiliate niggas. We just gonna put it out there. This is for white people. Don't wear it. This is for racist white motherfuckers. Don't wear our shit unless you a coon. We gonna put the coon face on it. So any niggas see you wearing it, nigga, let them know that you a coon. You feel me? So, cool. You know what I'm saying? So as a black power representative, as a member of the black society, as a member of what is that uh, African-American race and shit, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, bro, we should just we should just not buy Gucci, Prada, Montclair, Louis Vuitton, motherfucking Armani. Nigga, if the owner ain't black, we should not buy it. I don't give a fuck, period. I don't give a fuck because see now, bro, now it's like motherfuckers see that they can disrespect black people and it ain't gonna be no repercussion. So the repercussion should be, let's just segregate ourselves. Not even, not even in the sense of the way we live. Cause I mean, you know, I don't think niggas is gonna get on code enough to just like leave white society and gather up somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And then that's gonna be, that'll be too fast, too much, too quick. We fuck around, get bombed. You know what I'm saying? Just speaking historically, that's just what happens in America. You get bombed and shit. So, niggas should just get on code and be like, all right, Virgil, we about to buy all your shit. We about to buy all of the motherfucking off-white. Who else? Ain't a uh, fear of God, ain't that, ain't that black? Ain't that, ain't, that, ain't that black? Ain't fear of God black? I don't know. If it is, shit, we can buy that too, goddammit. Like, you know what I'm saying? The shit just really don't make no sense. How motherfuckers, how we just, oh, we gonna boycott. What we boycotting them for? Because, like, nowadays, it's just a whole bunch of bullshit ass, useless boycotting, and we just not, not focus. You know, it's just a stupid shit because these boycotts ain't aimed towards no goals. The goddamn boycotting with uh, MLK and them, the bus boycotting, was it Montgomery? I don't remember. But that was a goal. Niggas was getting treated bad on them buses. They was like, cool, we're not going to use the buses until niggas get treated right. Niggas started getting treated right. They got their ass back on them buses. Now, we not watching the NFL and we boycotting. What was another boycott? We were supposed to boycott Pepsi. And what was we supposed to boycott Netflix? You know what I'm saying? For what? For what, though? Just because a few people got... A few people in the industry, or a few fans, or a few tastemakers got goddamn me offended. So, since you boycott, we should boycott. It ain't no aim for this. We just not fucking with them for, for whatever reason. I mean, I understand 
practice make perfect and maybe we just practicing boycotting because you know we ain't never did no shit like that i don't know but yeah i feel like we just need to get on code nigga buy a whole bunch of motherfucking just 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 buy from virgil buy off-white what did the shit dope buy off-white god damn it buy fear of god nigga the fear of god nikes is dope as hell they just 800 dollars or 1100 dollars and i ain't you know i'm not into spending that lump sum of money on a pair of shoes you feel me but we don't have to get mad and get emotional and say we're not buying your stuff no more like just buy from your people you know what i'm saying you ain't got you ain't got to worry about that now virgil put a off black or whatever the fuck i don't know if virgil do some goofy shit then he deserved to get punched but if not then should as soon as he got in the industry as soon as he got his shit we should have been like oh it's vibe we finally in there we in there god it let's do it you feel me virgil virgil off white off white but you know Niggas ain't, niggas not built like that. We just really need white confirmation or some shit. Like, I really need these people and we ain't about to keep goddamn getting emotional about it either. We just gonna do our own. And when that day come, bro, hopefully I'll be alive. Cause it ain't looking like, it look like I'm gonna fuck around and die. And my kids gonna have to carry the torch. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe they gonna have to die and they kid. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas, Right about now, niggas is hypersensitive, and I understand. I understand as as a black person, I understand why we hypersensitive. But we need to channel all of this energy, all this aggression, and use it positively. Use it to our advantage. You know what I'm saying? We got talent like a motherfucker. Let's just only fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Let's only fuck with us. Like just on some not even on no hateful shit like nah this ain't hateful I'm, I'm i'm sorry justin timberlake you just not black i don't want you to be on this track i want usher or goddamn me i want jason derulo whoever the fuck you know anybody black you know we need to just fuck with ourselves you know so with that being said i feel like that's the end of everything i had to say i'm probably gonna do another video when i get off and uh yeah y'all folks have a good little what is it valentine's day and shit i'm i'm gonna celebrate it with my old lady i'm gonna fuck around take her to the movies or some shit so yeah man y'all have a good little valentine's day man y'all love on each other um look up some black history facts that you don't already know about just to you know keep that history going on and um that's all i got for y'all last take heed to what a nigga said man we need to do 